you gotta let me know. It say action or it's live. You're shaking your head, doesn't tell me anything. We'll do it live. Do it live! Okay, folks, here we are, live at the Pemex. Get a shot of the Pemex uh, gas station. Unfortunately, the issue right now is that uh, I've experienced a flat tire. And so what we're doing is we are currently, here, let's back up, let's get a shot of this, of the issue here. Here, come on, back up. You gotta give the audience a view of what's happening here. We've got a uh, uh, right rear tire that is flat. No, quit zooming, that's ridiculous. Stop zooming, stop. And uh, so we're gonna get this changed, uh, but the issue right now, the issue is that I do not have a tire iron, so I purchased a jack for the car at some point, but I don't have a tire iron to take the tire off. So what we're doing is uh, we're currently waiting for David's mom to show up here with a uh, tire iron to do this. So this is what you call spending quality time together. Um, this is what we used to do back in the day before, you know, cell phones and things like that, when you were just kind of, you know, left without options, you had to pass the time some way. So now we're doing this. Um, thought maybe it'd be an ample opportunity right now because of this to maybe talk about a little history of the car because everybody kind of knows this is my car and this is what uh, I drive to work every day and talk about, you know, how, uh, how I ended up with the car, how it came about and um, give you a little background info. So the story of this car, this is a 1971. Yeah, you gotta keep kinda, let's, let's actually kinda get around here so we can have the car in the foreground. And I want, listen to me, listen closely. I want you to understand something here, okay? You gotta get the camera now. You gotta get me in the camera here in the, in the background, okay? I'll be in the foreground, the car's in the background. If I start moving, you gotta kinda pan this way. No, no, no. You physically need to move with me, okay? Move your legs, and it's gotta be still, okay? All right, so the story of the car here, this is a 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Now, this car, I used to see it parked outside Lemoore High School all the time when I was a kid. I knew that somebody who worked at that school owned the car. Little did I know that many, many years later, I would actually be taking a class called Entertainment Design with a guy who owned this car. I thought, wow, that's funny. I've seen that car parked outside the school my whole life. And now I'm taking a class with the guy who owns it. Now, coincidentally, right around the time that I first got my driver's license when I was 16, as I was walking through the parking lot one day at the high school, I saw a for sale sign in this window of the car. Come on over here, follow me. I saw there was a for sale sign in this window on the car. And I just thought to myself, oh man, I. I have to have that car. I always wanted a car that was different. You know, I wanted to have a car that was unique that people would see and know was mine. And the fact that I saw this car my whole life growing up, I just thought, I, I, I gotta have it. Now I called my mom and said, hey, you know, what can we do? Is there, can we figure this out somehow? And so I took down the teacher's number and I called him and he was surprised to hear my voice because I was a student of his. And we went and test drove the car and I thought, yeah, this is what I want and I, I love it. And so we bought the car. And that was in around February of 2007. And I've had it ever since then. I've had some ups and downs with the car, a lot of mechanical issues, but uh, I had the car totally restored in 2013. It uh, sat in my garage inoperative for about four years from 2009 to 2013. But um, now she's, uh, up and running. I mean, not now, because the tire's flat, of course. But, uh, you know, it's I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the car overall right now. I mean, there's because it's an old car, there's constantly little issues here and there that need to be fixed and maintained. But um, it, is, it, it, it is a good car. And uh, not the best on gas mileage, but um, I actually have had another car besides this one that was a more modern car. But I still kept this one because it was my first car. And um, I think the, 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 the cool thing is that now I am the teacher who has the car. Now kids you know, go to school and they see me with the car. And so I think that's, uh, that's neat. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. I can see you messing around and your face is lighting up with the screen. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's the story of the car. And um, over the years, I've, I've you know, made some, some modifications to it. 
I installed a little sound box that some of you guys probably have heard. It makes sounds like the Ice Cream Man music, uh, makes animal sounds and things like that. I did get a more modern radio put in because it had an old school radio that didn't work and now the modern one doesn't work actually. And that's because whenever it rains or it gets wet, it's water that seeps in that I guess fries the you know electronics in there or whatever. But um, other than that, everything's pretty much working fine. I think a tail light's on too, but no big deal. So yeah, uh, David, throw me some questions about the car that I can answer for more info of anybody who's possibly uh, gonna watch this. But what, what do you think somebody would wanna know about the car? Yeah, when are you gonna get a new one? When am I gonna get a new car? That's a great question. Well, first of all, getting a new car to me would not mean that I would get rid of this car. Um, this car just has special meaning to me and it always will, so I don't plan on getting rid of it. Um, new car, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking maybe once the new school year starts, you know, 2019, 2020 school year, might be the time to, uh, just pay attention, no moving. Uh, that might be the time to uh, get a new car. So yeah, something, you know, a little more, uh, a little more um, eco-friendly, you know, something that does better on gas mileage, I think will be good. So that's my plan right now. Next question. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite thing to get at uh, Wendy's? My favorite thing to get at Wendy's, you know, I'm not a big Wendy's guy, honestly. Um, if I'm if I'm gonna go to a fast food place, you know, Taco Bell uh, is. Probably number one to me next would be McDonald's and In-N-Out. Um, not a huge Burger King guy, honestly. Wendy's though, you know, um, Wendy's I think does still have a pretty strong uh, value menu. So anything off there would be good. Um, I think their Frosties are pretty good too. Not a fan of the Nuggets there, really. But uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite uh, season? My favorite season? Yeah. Of the year? Yeah. Um, I think spring and fall equally. Um, if I had to give the upper hand to one, I would say spring. There's nothing like when um, it does start to warm up just a bit and the weather is just perfect on certain days. I really, really love spring. I love the colors of springtime and um, spring. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, what do you think about the amount of debt the United States has accumulated throughout its history? I have no opinion. Listen, don't be foolish, okay? Ask me something that I can actually comment on here, all right? Okay. Accumulating debt is never a, a good thing, right? Right. That's all you can say. Go ahead. Okay. Wise words. Um, what's your favorite color? My favorite color, um, I would say black. I know that black is viewed as the absence of color but I, I do like black a lot. I do also enjoy blue uh, as the color of my shoes. I don't know why that is in particular, but if I'm gonna buy like a, a newer pair of shoes, I like uh, shoes that are blue, especially like a darker, a darker blue. So. Okay. I have a habit of saying, so yeah, when I'm done answering a question, I'm trying to stop doing that. So, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite conjunction? Because. Because? Mm -hmm. All right. Because. Nice. Uh, are you more of an adjective or an adverb guy? Oh, that's a great question. I, I think most definitely that I use more adjectives, for sure. Um, I think that you're asking me questions that are going to go over some people's heads right now. Oh, uh, okay. What do you think? I mean, just hold it. Just, you know, just re remove the show aspect of this for a minute. And if it's just me and you talking right now, what do you think if, if you did not know me the way that you do, what would you think that somebody would want to ask me that is a student of mine, let's say, specifically? Hmm. Uh. How about this? Hold this. Let me see this for a second. Uh. Okay, we'll just do this for a second. Back up, get back, get back. Okay, now, no, no, no. Come forward. Right there, it's fine, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions now, all right? You tell me 
as me being a parental figure in your life because you know me differently from the way that my students would know me um what is it like me being in that role what would you have to say about me as opposed to what would my students think what i mean what do you know about me my students don't Okay, and we'll just wrap it up there. Obviously, there's been some kind of computer error. It's a big brain. So, um, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're getting to the end of this video here. Uh, what else should we add? Anything? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? I'll, I'll be sure to add some, like, uh, wacky effects in post. No, we don't need to add any effects to this. Oh, okay. None of that is necessary in any way, shape, or form. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes just plain... Uh, you know, clear videos are kind of the best option for this kind of thing. So, um, Valent it's actually Valentine's Day today. Didn't bring that up at all. It was Valentine's Day, and uh, I mean, you can't see them. We don't need to show them, but as I was struggling to pull the spare tire out of my car, one of the, there's, there's some ladies over here who were selling, like, Valentine's Day gifts, and they wanted to know if I wanted to buy one, and I, I politely declined because I'm I have a big enough problem right now trying to change my tire. I couldn't even, and let me tell you what the struggle was. The struggle was getting the spare tire. Let's show the class, let's go over here. You know, most cars have an engine in the front. Well, a Volkswagen does not. So can, can you see this? The Vol here, you need to kind of move out of the way so the light hits it, okay? The Volkswagen has no engine in the front. It's just empty. This is actually where the spare tire sits and that is there you go well done this is where the spare tire sits and that's where the gas tank is right there um, the engine let's go around to the back the engine is actually in the back of the car maybe light that up so they can see that and there's the engine in the back so kind of interesting um, and I was struggling to get the spare tire out of the front because every time I would pull the tire out I realized did you see what I did at the end when I pulled it out did you see what made me finally get it what did you see prying it out no 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 what, what did I do to get it out because there was one thing I did the, 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 the lip that's in the front of the car the tire was getting caught on that every time I was lifting it so I was pulling it like the Hulk and I couldn't do it and I was getting upset but then I just, I, the lip, I grabbed it and I bent it so it closed shut. And once I did that, that's when the tire finally came out. But of course, I got the tire out and we know where we stand now. I have no tire iron, so I cannot change the tire. So we're waiting for David's mom to show up at some point, you know, with the tire iron so we can uh, get out of here. We're here at the uh, 43 and, uh, you know, what is this? Uh, 7th Avenue or whatever this is here, 7th Street, you know, just kind of uh, hanging out until that time. Having a good time though, you know. We uh, we were possibly going to go watch Alita Bat Battle Angel, but I realized that uh, David's got school in the morning and, uh, you know, heard the, heard the car making a noise, so pulled over and saw that I had a flat tire. So here we are. So anyway. I think that's going to do it for this flat tire live stream. So anybody who has had a chance to watch the video, hit the hit the like button, hit subscribe, you know, and tell your friends and give us a share on Facebook and Instagram and tell your friends to come watch our channel and subscribe. That's how they end these, right? Okay. Um, but anyway, I, I do hope in all sincerity, you know what I should have done? I should have had you live stream me like putting the jack under the car, right? and taking the tire off because that would have been educational, right? So kids could, you know, see if they don't know how to remove a tire and stuff. Um, we'll, we'll see if that becomes a possibility here in the next, I don't know, hopefully 20 minutes or so if we don't freeze to death outside the Pemex gas station. So anyway, uh, anybody who's had a chance to watch, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully we make it out of here at some point before Tuesday. So anyway, watching, goodbye. Good night. See you later. You're supposed to end it when I say.